In this tutorial, I'll teach you guys how to add an icon to your CX Freeze executable. Now, in my previous video, we discussed how to use CX Freeze, how to generate a build folder with our generated exe inside it. But as I'll show you right now, this exe that we generated over here, where is it? Right here, tutorial.exe. As we can see here, there's no icon, or more specifically, it has the default Windows icon because I'm using Windows. So that doesn't look very good. You want your EXE to look professional and modern. So you're gonna use an icon. Now what you should do is grab an icon like this one over here. This is just a sample icon. If you guys want some sample icons, I'll leave a download link in the description below so you can play around with some. Uh, there are about 10 icons in that folder. Remind me if I forget. All right, so here's the icon. Now, what we're going to do is go over to our setup.py file and don't worry if you if you use the console method, I'll show you that as well. All right, so here's our folder. Okay, and now I'm going to come over here in the executable line, then type icon is equal to the name of my icon. This can also be a file path. If you didn't put the android.ico file in the same folder as where we're calling this command, as where we're calling the setup.py command. So I'm just gonna run our file over here, okay, regenerate it, and I'll pause the video right now and then resume it when we can see the result, okay. Okay, so now our exe is generated. I'm gonna navigate to my file explorer open the build folder and here we can see that the icon has now replaced the default icon great so we know our code is working now just a few more things i should mention first of all some of you may face issues uh, there have been issues reported with this one if you use the python installation that was downloaded from microsoft store you'll face a problem okay there's a issue a bug with that python installation that will cause this to fail. Or if you face an error regardless, like you didn't install it from Microsoft Store, but you still face an error, then just I recommend upgrading our CX Freeze version or reinstalling it. That works for some people, okay? Other than that, one last thing I should mention is how to uh, do it on the console for those of you who use that method, All right? Write CX Freeze dash C, then uh, what was it? Yeah like tutorial.py, okay? That's the name of my tutorial.py folder. Then over here, icon is equal to android.ico, all right? And that's how you do it. Okay, just add this extra option in there. Okay, cool. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm... Cool, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one.